So there has been a bit of drama recently about dungeons and solo pack pulling. Or more accurately, a tank that wasn't using their AoE combo and DPS were pulling aggro and dying because of it. It's not his fault you're impatient. I'm sorry, what did you mean by that? You pulled ahead of him this whole dungeon. That doesn't dismiss the fact that Ren is single targeting in a pack. But it got me thinking, is single pulling really that much slower? Like, I do expect it to be slower. But from my experience, it never feels that bad. But that could just be me not paying attention to how long a run goes. And of course, I'm going off the expectation that people are doing AoE on three or more targets. Well, actually... Art of War is a gain on two. And that should be the bare minimum expectation. Because, let's be honest, if the party isn't doing any AoE, it really doesn't matter how much is being pulled, it's gonna take forever. So everyone who sees this, I don't want you thinking my stance is that doing less than the bare minimum is acceptable. When you enter a dungeon, you should at least pretend to respect the time of the three other humans in your party, even if you just think of them as ones and zeros. To me, you're all data and numbers, like I don't know what to tell you. At the end of the day, it's a group of numbers that get together, put numbers on another, and the number dies, and then a number gets posted on a website, and an achievement scrolls across my screen. And if you can't do that, just run with duty support or alliance raid roulettes for tones. However, by the time this video comes out, the drama will have long since blown over. But finding three friends to indulge in my mad science was harder than I imagined. Two hours later. But okay, before I can reveal the results of this experiment, I need to go over my process. This way, I can be as transparent as possible. I thought over how best to run this experiment, and I figured this is the most accurate way to test it. But if I had overlooked something, do let me know. For this test, I grabbed three buddies and ran the last dungeon of Endwalker in different conditions to check how long it takes each time. So with the same people, same jobs, and same gear, it's as consistent as I could think to make this. One run had to get scrapped in the interest of fairness because we somehow didn't pick up an ad, so we wasted a whole bunch of time. So really, we ran the dungeon one more time than necessary. Ignoring that though, we finished the dungeon four times. Twice wall to wall pulling, and the other two were single pack pulling as Yoshi P intended, presumably. Then, for each of those, we did one run with just pressing the raid buffs on cooldown, and the other one was saving for bosses. These numbers are mainly meant to be taken in relation to each other, as the skill level of a random pug will have so much more variance than our group of friends. Finally, because we only ran the dungeon once for each permutation, there can be some variance in clear times due to rotational mistakes and crit variance. And using my phone stopwatch and not a frame perfect cutoff, the exact times are rounded to the second. Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Yeah! But now with all that preamble out of the way, on to the results. To the surprise of no one, grabbing all of the mods and using raid bus and cooldown is the fastest way to clear a dungeon, taking us just over 14 minutes. This makes sense, you aren't losing casts of your damage buffs and you're AoEing the largest group possible. But you won't always get full value, and if your DPS aren't on the same page on gauging if it's more valuable to buff on cooldown or wait till the next pack, the buffs and accompanying burst is going to initial D the entire dungeon. The next fastest was pulling everything but holding raid buffs for the bosses. This is still relatively quick as it only took about 5 extra seconds. Which sure, even though you're casting your buffs less, they are far less likely to drift since even if they somehow drift during a boss, it hard realigns for the opener of the next boss. So, by process of elimination, single pack pulling is slower, no surprise there. But how much slower? And don't worry, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. Both runs ended up being just shy of 17 minutes. Though, somehow our raid buffs got misaligned, so it's likely we could have trimmed off another 15 or 20 seconds. 
This dungeon also doesn't have any mandatory single pull packs, which would make the times more comparable if it had. And once again, the difference between holding and using raid buffs was only 4 seconds. So the moral of the story. If your tank doesn't want to go pull everything, and you spend 10 minutes arguing about it and doing less damage because you're typing and not doing your ABCs, because I don't know about you guys, but it's hard for me to weave in angry messages. Or worse yet, nothing is getting pulled. You're actually making the dungeon take longer than if you just went at the tank's speed. So like, lighten up. There's no reason to spike your blood pressure, get toxic, and argue about it.